Hello, this is David Ward, and welcome to part two of the Tropical Terrain series set. Um, and when last I left you, we just finished uh, creating a palm tree. So we're going to go on and create a few more trees and, and bushes and things like that to add to our little library of, of trees and things. So let's go and grab our, our tree there and hit M to move it to a different layer. I'm going to move it to that layer right there. Tell me, let me go ahead and turn on the... Uh, screencast keys there we go so you can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it okay so now that uh, you've closed down blender and opened it back up probably you're going to need to go back to your user preferences and go to add-ons and turn the sapling generator back on because once you close blender it or once you even open a new scene uh, it it turns off all the add-ons that you might have had turned on so now we can go ahead and shift a and add another tree right there and this one's going to be more of a bush more of a little shrub so let's make it a lot smaller all the way down to let's set it to zero so we got a nice tree right there okay now uh, we'll just keep going with uh, the the random preset that it came in that it started with so um, we can play with it a little bit the random seed we can click that a few times and it'll give us some different shapes there some since we're set the scale set to zero some of them if they're smaller uh, they'll as you can see it goes down negative so let's just click through here until we get something about that'll probably work about right there just number 19 is the one I'm going with you can go which, with whichever one you like uh, now I'm going to go to actually let's turn on bevel real quick there we go let's see what we're doing a little easier now we'll go up to branch splitting and remember before on the on the palm tree we set the base size to be really tall but since this is going to be a bush we want the ba base size to be really small because we want these branches to come out pretty much all the way to zero Let me, there we go starting off at the very base maybe a tiny bit of a of a stem there so okay now as you can see the the branches are kind of in a uniform shape here and if we go back to geometry you can you can change that shape right here right now it says tin flame and that's the it's like a flame shape so if we click through here say you want it to be more spherical kind of oval oval shaped uh, there or hemispherical it's more of a you know half circle cylindrical is more shaped all the way uh, roughly the same size all the way up and you can just kind of go through there and just kind of Pick the one you want. I think I'm going to go with the spherical. And, um, do, 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 do. okay, good. Let's go back to branch splitting. And let's give it a couple of more splits along the base. You can see that it split the uh, branch right there. So let's uh, give it a few more segments. Actually, leave that alone. Um, split angle. Let's change that. That's where that main base kind of spreads out a little bit maybe give it a little bit of variation oops it's really touchy that little let's give it 10 a little touchy right there so okay and tell you what let's go ahead and give it uh, another split so we got three little splits come off there good and let's add some more variation to it um, they look pretty even so let's just do like that and then maybe some variation along the split angle of the next branches. Not really seeing much difference playing with that one. So I'll tell you what, let's just set it back to zero. Set that one back to zero. And okay, I think that'll work. Let's go ahead and give it the three levels like we did on the palm tree. So we can get some extra leaves in there. Make it a little more bushy. <laughs> a bushy bush, who would have thought? Um, but I'm seeing way too many twigs on there that's going to get very complex really fast, especially uh, once we add the leaves on there because it's going to create a lot of geometry. So let's lower this down to, say, let's make that 10, and then maybe set this down to 35 or so. And then there we go. Okay, so now let's uh, go to our branch growth and maybe add a little bit of variation here uh, on this first split, these the three branches that we made. Add a little bit of variation so they, they're not all the exact same length. And then maybe the same thing down here. Let's make it about 5. And then set this one to 1. Okay. 
Now the curvature is going to be... I, eh, we're not going to mess with that much. Let's make it uh, negative 20. Didn't see much difference there. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. So let's set the uh, the length for the first twigs, or the first branches. Not really seeing much change. Uh, some Sometimes when you're messing with the trees, uh, unfortunately, um, I guess there's uh, some bugs in the tree creation, so uh, looks like we're going to have to delete that one, start over again. Hopefully we can kind of learn from what we just did, though. Set the scale down to zero. And then let's go ahead and set the tin flame back to spherical. And go and turn on bevel. And I think that's all good. Oh, yeah, we're going to go to 19 on the random seed. There we go. Back to burnt splitting. Three splits on the base. Actually, just two splits to make it three total branches. And then uh, angle variation there. About like so. And then set the base size all the way down to, well, not to zero, but let's try 0 0.01. Okay, maybe, you know what, let's go ahead and split it one more time on the base there. So we have three. Or should be four, yeah. But it's not splitting those one, two. Those one, twos. <laughs> Okay, I think that'll work. All right. Now, um, that's looking good. Let's go to the branch growth and give it some curvature variation there. Maybe a little bit smaller so it evens up just a little bit. And like I said, you can play with all these different settings and see what they do. But uh, I think that's going to be good on the branch growth. Um, actually, let's go to branch splitting one more time and set the levels to three so we can have more leaves on there, remember. And then set this to 10, and then this to, say, 35. Okay, so now let's go to the leaves and show leaves. And now we have quite a few of them on there, but they're way too big. So let's make them a lot smaller. Let's try point 0.1 and then point 0.1 there as well. And you can see that's kind of like the palm tree leaves, which might be desirable in some cases. But uh, for this particular instance, I want to make them a little bit more round. So let's set the leaf scale here to point, uh, 0 0.05. Actually, let's make it an even skinnier. Let's make it point 0.25. And that's getting a little bit better. Let's make this scale here point 0 0.075. And that's looking pretty good. Okay. And let's set the amount of leaves to 15. Okay, so now we got a decent little bush there. Took a little while but because we had to start over, but, uh, uh, you know, you can do it once, you can do it again. Uh, you can do it again better. Now, one thing I didn't do on the palm tree that I just now saw, uh, or actually I saw it a little bit earlier, but I didn't mention it. Um, one thing we can do to help the the uh, branches and the tree trunk and everything be a little smoother so they're not you know such a sharp angle like right here, uh, we can go back to the geometry. And instead of the handle type being vector, we can change it to auto. And you can see it smooths those out a lot better. Okay, so that's pretty pretty good on the on the bush. So let's go ahead and click over here and grab the trunks and branches there and go ahead and convert them all the way up here. Convert to mesh and then grab the leaves. And before we join them together, I want to go ahead and give them their materials that you know because once we join them together, there won't be a good way to separate them out in edit mode. They'll be you know, you have to try to select each leaf one by one, and that can take forever. So, while we have them separated, let's go ahead and give that greenery, and select the branches, and give that the tree wood there. All right, now we can select the leaves, shift select the trunk, and control J, and join them together. So now we got a bush, and let's go ahead and name it bush. Do, 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 do. Where's the name of it? Let's go ahead and collapse some of these guys. Item, there we go. Name this bush. Okay, so now if we hold down shift and click on the layer there, we can see that we have the palm tree up there and we have a bush down below. So let's let's scale the bush up a little bit and then maybe let's duplicate it 
drag it over here and then rotate it around a little bit. And uh, now we have a palm tree with some bushes around the bottom. So let's go ahead and save that. And I'm going to go ahead and do a quick test render. I'll pause recording so you don't have to sit here and watch. And I'll be right back. Okay, and there's our render with the couple little bushes there. It's looking pretty good. One thing I'm noticing here on the trunk, the... Uh, the uh, wood grain pattern is not really working too well. It's kind of been getting, uh, I don't know how you say, uh, it's kind of, it's, it's too big. It's, it just doesn't look right. So let's let's play with that just a little bit. Grab our tree wood uh, material there. Go to our texture settings, and let's set the size down a little bit smaller. Let's make it instead of 0 0.05. Let's make it 0 0.01, and then. Go ahead and save that, and maybe that'll render a little bit better now. Okay, and there we go. And uh, I think it looks a little bit better. Maybe not as realistic. Uh, well, it looks better than it did before in, in any case, but uh, um, since it's just a, just a general background image, we're not going to focus on making that look like real tree bark at this juncture. Um, later on, if we you know, create some more realistic ones to put up closer to the camera. Maybe we'll work on that texture a little bit more. But for now, uh, I think that'll work. Okay, so moving forward, um, let's go ahead and create... Let me get rid of one of these bushes there, so we just have the one. Um, moving forward, let's go ahead and add that bush to the layer that the palm tree is on. So just hit M and move it to that layer there. And then we'll hold down shift and click that layer and then hit A to deselect everything. Deselect that. Okay, something still selected is Alt H. Nothing, nothing's hidden. So, hmm. It's got the orange dot, that means something in here is selected. Maybe I gotta select something. There we go. I guess since that was the last thing selected, it was still holding the, the selection. Anyways. Shift A, curve, add another tree. And this one, we're going to use one of the presets down here. Let's go with the... Let's see what the black oak looks like. Yeah, that'll work, I think. Um, might be have a few too many branches, but we'll play with that. Let's go ahead and turn on bevel. And maybe make it a little bit smaller. Let's make it... Uh, let's make it seven. Eh, maybe five. Let's make it five. And then we're going to go into the branch splitting. And right now you can see that uh, it's got 40 there and 120 there. That's a little too many for me, so let's make that, let's cut that in half, make it 60. I don't know if I noticed any, oh, I didn't notice any changes because uh, right now the branch splitting is only set to 2. So if we set that to 3, we can see all the subsequent little twigs there coming off of those other branches. Now, um... Still, I think there's a few too many branches in there, especially on that second layer, the main branches. So let's set, cut that in half as well. And maybe set the base size down a little bit more. No. Make it 30. Let's give some more uh, angle variation to those. starter twigs. There we go. I think that'll work. I like that. Okay. Now, oh, oops. Go back to geometry and change it to auto instead of vector. Have nice smooth curves. Okay. And now, uh, branch growth. You know, I think everything's good on the on the individual thing. Since we used that custom, or that uh, preset, it kind of did all the hard work for us. Let's say hard work. All the busy work for us setting up all the, the angles and everything. So, now uh, let's go ahead and go to leaves. Go ahead and show them. And they're quite a bit smaller, relatively speaking. So let's make them a little bit bigger. Uh, right now it's set to 0.12 and then 0.66. So let's just make the leaf scale here. Let's make them twice as big, 0.25. And that's looking okay. Let's make them even bigger. Let's make them 0.5. Okay, and then maybe a little bit bigger on the X scale as well. Maybe that even even 1.0. And that's looking good. I like the size of those and the shape, but there's a few too many, so let's go ahead and set it to 15. 
or maybe even smaller. Let's make it 10 because some of them are doubling up as you can see. And I think that'll work. Now one other thing you can do um, if we go back to branch splitting is to, to get a little bit more um, filler leaves so they're not just basically coming out of each branch. We can go ahead and split one more time to where we get that fourth uh, angle down there, that fourth uh, twig set. So let's go ahead and give that some, let's give that 10. And it didn't change anything, did it? So give that. Okay, we gotta go to growth. No. Let's make those a little bit bigger. Maybe one. And then make that one. There we go. Yeah, ooh, yeah, that helped out a lot. Okay, so this is going to just be a normal tree. Um, and we're pretty well done with that, so let's go ahead and do the same thing we did with the bush. Go ahead and come over here to our our main twigs and, and branches and go Object, Convert to Mesh. And then we'll go ahead and give that the material of the tree wood. And then grab the leaves, give that the greenery. Okay, shift select, control J. And now we have another tree. So let's just call this one, we could just call it tree. Yes, because I believe the palm tree. Nope, let's name that palm tree. Okay, so now hold down shift, select that first layer again. And we can see that our new tree here is quite a bit too big. So let's scale that down. Let the just a little bit smaller than the palm tree. We move, rotate it around. Okay, now let's look through our camera again. And I'll go ahead and give it a test render. I'll go ahead and save. And I'll pause recording so you don't got to sit through it. And here we go. Okay, and that's looking pretty good. I'm starting to think the leaves might be a little too shiny. So let's grab our greenery material here, go to our specular level, and let's go ahead and set the sharp or the hardness of our of our sheen to let's make that 35 and then set the intensity down to say 0 0.08. So we can see that the glare won't be, you know, so it's not quite as flat a glare on these on these leaves as it is in there. Um, okay, so let me go ahead and do one more test render. Go ahead and save this and I'll be right back. Okay, and there we are. And I think that looks a little bit better. They're not quite as shiny. Makes it look a little more believable, more a little more lifelike. So there we go. We got our palm tree, our little scrub bush, and a normal tree. Um, I think uh, in, in the future tor tutorial, we're going to call that good on the trees. If you want to make some more on your own, feel free. Um, but th I'm just going to create these so I don't uh, drag you through the same old tutorial over and over and over uh, so the next one we're gonna do we're gonna I think we're gonna create some rocks and then maybe some uh, little grassy you know scrub brush not not a bush but brush so if that makes any sense so. okay um, that's gonna do it for part two uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in part three